A common task type in the IELTS academic reading test are summary tasks. These involve filling in the blanks in some kind of summary of the passage. The summary may take the form of notes, a table or a flowchart that you have to complete with words from the reading passage. Although the formats of these types of questions look different and have slightly different requirements, the skills and strategies that you need to complete the task are basically the same. Let's first take a look at a notes completion task. On the left of the screen, you can see a section from a reading passage, while on the right, you can see an example of a summary task, in this case, a notes completion task. Often with this kind of task, you will be given a list of options, as is the case in this example. Notice that there are six options in the list to choose from, but only four questions. So not all the options from the list will be used. Then, look at the notes carefully, particularly paying attention to the words before and after the gaps. You can also decide if the word in the gap should be a noun, verb or an adjective. Skim through the text to find the section you need and then scan this part to find the answer you need. In particular, look at the words you highlighted before and after the gaps in the notes completion task. These can help you to find the answers in the reading passage. Can you find the answers? So here the answers are highlighted in green. Were you correct? Let's take a look at another example, this time using a table. As you can see, on the left is part of a reading passage, while on the right there is a table completion task. This is an example of a summary task in which no options are given. This time, you need to find words from the reading passage to fill in the gaps. First of all, start by checking the instructions to see how many words you need to write. In this case, no more than three words. Then look at the table and read the headings. Check what information is already given to you and what information you need to fill in. Highlight key words. These are often the words before and after the gaps. Skim the text to find the right section, then scan this part more carefully to find the answers you need. In this case, the areas of the text which contain the answer for question 1 have been highlighted. Read this section carefully and try to find the answer. For question 1, performed is the answer. So as you can see, although the notes completion questions and table completion tasks look different in terms of format, the way to approach these kinds of questions is basically the same way. Similarly, if you encounter a flowchart completion, as shown in this example, you should approach this task as you would with a notes completion or table completion. So now that I have described how to do summary tasks to you, why don't you take some time to read over the summary? After that, 
I'm sure you're ready to do some practice with these kinds of tasks.